Subaru Canada made the new 2020 Legacy sedan the centerpiece of its display at the Auto Show in Toronto, a week after its global debut at the Chicago Auto Show. The don't go looking for Canadian specific information on the model lineup and pricing. With the vehicle not on sale until fall, it's just too soon for that level of detail, although Subaru officials did say Canada will continue to offer its own trims, distinct from those in the United States. In broad strokes, the new sedan, the bigger selling out back version is still to be revealed, migrates to the global architecture that already underpins all of Subaru's vehicles except the BRZ Sport Car and Outback. While still recognizably a legacy, the new shape features what Subaru describes as thick and solid body lines that convey both peace of mind and power. The structure is dramatically stronger and the cabin is roomier in almost every direction, with best-in-class legroom. A portrait-oriented 11.6-inch screen is the centerpiece on the dashboard and will be the onboard interface for Subaru Starlink, a suite of connected services that uses the car's own embedded 4G LTE phone. Subaru's EyeSight Safety Suite, including adaptive cruise, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, lead vehicle start alert and more, will be standard across the board. The base engine will be a substantially new 2.5-liter, 182-horsepower Boxer 4, while turbo power returns in the form of a 260-horsepower, 2.4L unit that replaces the previous naturally aspirated 3.6-liter Boxer 6 as the up-level alternative. Both engines drive all four wheels via a CVT transmission. In a mid-size sedan segment that is fast shrinking, the new legacy faces both challenges and opportunities. With Nissan deciding to make all-wheel drive standard on its new Altima in Canada, standard AWD is no longer a unique selling proposition for the legacy. As well, the mid-size segment isn't declining only in terms of buyer demand. Supply is also down, as the Detroit automakers all but abandoned the sedan business to focus on pickups and CVs. Analyst Robert Carwold, Senior Manager, Automotive Practice Canada at JD Power says, The Legacy and the Altima are both new designs, and they both are in a position to grab some share as some of the other players start vacating that market. They're not going to grow the segment, but whoever is left standing in the room might be able to pick up more buyers, and they both might be able to do that at the same time just because of when they decided to do this in the marketplace. Subaru announced on Tuesday its plan to release the next in its Visiv line of concept vehicles at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show in March. This latest Visiv is called the Adrenaline, and while Subaru isn't giving us much to go on with this dark little teaser image, it does look like it might be sportier than previous Visiv concepts. Last year's Visiv Tour concept was teased in much the same way and ended up being a handsome and aggressive wagon that made everyone here at Roadshow pine for the days of the WRXT wagon. The Visiv Adrenaline teaser smacks of crossover, but if it's half as aggressive a crossover as the Tour was a wagon, then maybe it's a peek at the faster forester of our dreams, and according to Subaru, dreams only until they stop selling so well. In any case, Subaru says that we can expect to see the Visiv Adrenaline concept in all of its glory on March 5 at 10.45 a.m. Central European Time, or 4.45 a.m. ET. Until then, you Subaru fans will have to satiate yourselves by feverishly commenting on speculative nasty oak threads. Subaru customers have been stereotyped as granola-eating, golden retriever-owning, stand-up paddle-boarding, political bumper-sticker-buying, and lesbians. While that may be somewhat true, 
Subaru and their owners care about the environment and would buy a new Crosstrek all-electric vehicle if they were available. Why is Subaru pumping the brakes on a new all-wheel drive EV? Subaru just launched a new 2019 Crosstrek plug-in hybrid PHEV, that is designed to meet the zero-emission vehicle mandate in California and the other nine states, as Connecticut, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, Rhode Island, and Vermont, following California Air Resources Board emissions rules. But they've been slow to bring a new all-electric cross-track to any market. Subaru of America President and COO Tom Dahl told Automotive News, the new Crosstrek PHEV will only make up a small portion of Crosstrek's monthly sales in 2019, and Subaru Corporation will only build limited quantities of the new 2019 Crosstrek with electric technology. But more models are coming as the technology improves. According to a recent report from Bloomberg, Subaru is waiting for other automakers to spend the big money on research and development, while they wait until the time is right to move. Tom Dahl, told them, if we put one out now, we're going to be competing in the teeth of the market with everybody else. This way, we can let them kind of sort it out, then we can come in Dahl told Automotive News that he believes Subaru will be successful once they do jump into the EV game. He said, our job is to try and create a market for it. It's not the technology that customers are afraid of, it's the charging times and lack of charging stations. I think people are agnostic in terms of the engine, says Dahl, what they want is the convenience. They go to a gas station, and in 3 to 5 minutes, they're done. They want to be able to put that charger in, and in 3 to 5 minutes it's charged. Once they can solve that charging issue, I think it'll tip faster than people think. There are more new products coming from Subaru soon. Subaru's 2020 vision plan calls for further expansion which will include new products, better engines, increased production, and cost cutting. Subaru Corporation spelled out in their vision 2020 plan how they will bring hybrids, a plug-in hybrid and all electric vehicles using their new Subaru Global Platform. Customers will see a new Subaru Crosstrek all-electric small SUV, but not until the time is right. Tom Dahl said, I'd rather be last in and get it right, than be first in and destroy my brand image and reputation. The 2019 Geneva Motor Show is right around the corner, and you know what that means, a lot of teasers from the automakers that have confirmed the trip to Switzerland. Subaru is on that list and aside from introducing two Eurospec electrified models, it will also unveil a world premiere in the form of the Visiv Adrenaline. The concept will follow several other Visiv concepts introduced in recent years and will take the shape of what looks to be a small crossover. The high-riding vehicle appears to have only two doors and a generous ground clearance, while the cameras mounted on the frame of the hexagonal windshield come to replace conventional mirrors. The jacked-up Sarbi appears to be lacking traditional door mirrors and seems to have cutouts in the hood which could be a sign there's still a combustion engine at the heart of the vehicle despite the visive adrenaline's concept nature. The bulging fenders and quarter panels lend the crossover a rugged appearance, while the C-shaped LED headlights are reminiscent of previous visive concepts. The use of adrenaline indicates we could be dealing with a high-performance concept, but with Subaru refusing to go into any sort of details about the Geneva-bound show car, it's only a speculation we're making for the time being. Could this concept serve as a window into Subaru's future? Possibly. The Visiv Performance STI concept likely was a preview of the next-gen WRX STI, while the Visiv Tour concept might signal the return of the WRX wagon. Going back in time, Let's remember the Visiv 7 went on to become the production-ready ascent, so it could mean a new adrenaline concept will have a correspondent in a Subaru showroom in the years to come.
Meanwhile, the latest Visit will premiere on March 5 at the 89th Geneva Motor Show.